you had to know, Coach, that you were handing Ryan Day a gold mine. Yeah, but he's done a great job with it. And, uh, you know, I also am very proud of the infrastructure of that program. And I think that's the un unsung heroes of any organization. And Howard Griffith and I were just talking about that. When you talk about Super Bowl teams in the NFL, you talk about college teams that do very well, and then high school teams, it's obviously the players, but the players have to be developed. And that's where you look at Coach Mick and, and all the way to Ryan Snapper, and, and then, uh, then the assistant coaches have done very well. You want to work with them again? What's that? Would you like to work with them again? Though no. that's that's your guys. That's your posse. Who's that? You know, they Voltolini. Yeah. Do I want to work Mickey. with them again? Yeah. No, no. no I'm uh, I'm very proud of where they're at, and what they're doing, and you know, it's very personal for me, Ohio State, because that's home. Yeah. And knowing that they're flourishing, and you go have a nice dinner in Columbus, Ohio, and be proud of what's going on there. Dabo said that uh, Jackson Carmen and Chase Young is must see TV. A uh, heck of a matchup, huh? It is. That's, you know, two guys are going to make a lot of money in the game. Right. You know, one's a little more developed right now, and I think Chase is a little more developed than Jackson, but Jackson's got tremendous upside. Have you been involved at all in preparation or around no, the team? No, I go practice and watch a little bit, sit in meetings once in a while, but no, they certainly, they certainly don't need my help. So X is a no this. What's the key to this? The beginning of the game is going to be key. Is it's so neither team has faced anything close. Ohio State's, you know, they played Wisconsin, they played Wolverines, and they played Penn State. But that's not, you know, all due respect to those teams. That's not this team. Uh, not athletically. Other areas, yes. Uh, and then Clemson, you look at their schedule. Not even, you know, when you're when you're playing, you know, your double-digit favorites all year long, and you know how the teams respond to the athleticism on the other side. Because this is a talent equated game. You've been linked to every dang coaching vacancy the National Football League. You told me here, I think three years ago, that the Browns had contacted you I at some point. That. Yes, you did. I didn't say the Browns. I said okay. The Browns. Oh, okay. I stand corrected. So, how would that uh, play if someone called you again, Coach? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I really. I was really concerned this summer about not liking what I'm doing, not enjoying, uh, but Fox has been over the top. I don't like my team. I love our team. I love uh, Reggie Bush and Leonard and Stoner and uh, Brady Quinn. So uh, I haven't made any decisions. But You haven't ruled it out because you say, well, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, I think that's between myself and our family and other variables that I just got to make sure. But Fair enough. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thanks, brother.